Simulation of tool change cycles are now available in Paramill 2015 R2. So looking at this machine tool, the model and the tool paths, we have four different tool paths with four different tools associated with them. If we want to collision check our machine tool as it goes through the entire process of cutting this part from start to finish, including the tool change cycles, we can now do that by defining the tool change points in our .mtd file. This was previously achievable by adding in different work planes into our NC program between the tool paths to force the machine tool to go to those positions. Now we can hard code the tool change cycles within our MTD file. So in this example here, I'm just gonna right click on the NC program containing my four tool paths. And if I click simulate from start, we can now see that three non-active tools have moved to a position which represents where they will be on the carousel of the machine. If I simulate this NC program from start, you'll see several tool changes take place between the tool paths. Okay, so just pausing there, the machine tool finishes the tool path, moves to the tool chain point, swaps tools, and then continues to machine the next tool path. These tool chain cycle moves are programmed into the .mtd file, which I'll show you now. In my mtd file, I now have a new tag called tool change. Within this, I can define a pre-move before the change takes place, the position and the time delay during a change, and then a post-move for what I want the machine tool to do after the change has taken place. So within my tool change pre-moves, my moves and my post-moves, I can give the command move to and then a coordinate. I can put in any coordinate I like. If I do not choose to include one coordinate, such as Y or Z, the previously attained position will be used. So here I have the machine tool moving to Z500, and then I do not have a Z coordinate here. So that Z500 is maintained throughout the tool change. During my tool change, I can also input a delay. So this command is wait, space, and then a number. This number represents uh, milliseconds that I want the machine tool to wait. So once the change has taken place, I need to close the tag. Then I can define the post moves that I want the machine tool to make after the tool change has taken place. Again, if I do not put in a specific axis value like X or Y, then the previous one that had already been achieved will be used. If I want to give a different tool change to a particular tool, then I use the tag tool change moves space number equals, and then I must give it an integer value. This will describe the tool change sequence for a specific tool. If the number parameter is not present, so as in this example here, then the tool change move will describe the moves for all tools not specified by a number. And then repetition or duplication of a number or of a default tag will produce an error. This is saved in my MTD file. So if ever I want to simulate uh, a number of tool paths with several tool changes in them, instead of using different work planes, which I post in my NC code dotted between each tool path, all I have to do is import the machine tool and those tool changes will take place.